sipping, I'm 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 Salute to my J, shout out to Bookworm, shout out to Superfly No Wings. There's quite a few people, Gail Campbell. There's a lot of dope people on the set tonight um, that we gonna probably get some time with, but I'm excited, man. Shout out to Glocker where I just left the DJ Fest to come here. But it's one love, it's one free, it's, it's, it's free love festival. That's what we doing today. Sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Root, Fine Productions, we outside always, and as usual. Sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rug, and all that coolness, man. We at the Free Love Festival, and I got my guy in here, man. Real time family. Tell them who I got with me. Max Madness. Y'all already know. AKA, Mr. I can't believe he said that shit. AKA, bitch, that baby look like Pastor Johnson. Am I allowed to curse? Yes, sir. All right, there we go. <laughs> my guy, man. My guy, Max, somebody that's been real. From my interest into the media side of this thing, man, but somebody that I've also seen grow a lot with the stand-up side, and I'm proud of you, and I'm seeing you execute and hit your marks and things like that, man. But tell the people exactly what it is you in the middle of doing and what's going, what you got going on real quick. Uh, right now, I'm on my stand-up joint heavy. Uh, I'm trying to break into acting, you know, as most people try, you know. Uh, hope, hopefully, it's hit or miss. I'm going to be taking a lot of... Uh, B movie roles, real quick. <laughs> I'm cup, right. I'm cup guy right. number two, but uh, I'm gonna hold that cup well. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm practicing. <laughs> no, that's what it is, man. And and you know what? I got your back on that. Anything that makes sense, I shoot it your way, and it's up to you to crush it, right? Thank you, thank you. Now look, I'm taking everything. Look, I'm, I ain't turning nothing down. Don't tell everybody hire me, and I'm gonna I'm just show up to work uh, abruptly late, but I'm gonna be there. I mean, <laughs> abruptly late is crazy. Now, shout out to CEO Ro. Um, I see you've been a part of the Poets to Laughter a few times, man. How you feel about that vibe? Yo, I love that environment, man. I, I thank him for the platform that he give me. Like, it's always good vibes in that joint. It's, man, look, it's nothing else to say, man. Just pull up to that joint. If you heard about it, it's everything you heard about it. Like, everything. If the vibes is there, the love is there, the motherfucking, he show love to anybody that's trying to, that's serious about their craft. So if you serious, get on, man. That's all I can say about that is get on. No, and that's dope. And which makes the transition easier to say. Tell the people something about that Glockaware energy real quick. Oh, man. Glockaware is the, is the one-stop shop. That, that's the family, too, man. I, I, I haven't officially. I, when, I was, when I was a radio host, I was going to join that joint. I should have. I should have. I've been sleeping on it. But listen, anything you need, you go through Glockaware. You want your clothes made. You want to network. You want to. You want some publicity. You want to get on, get your own show. If you want to do what we do, holla at Glockaware. They gonna put you on there, and they have a platform already. Just the same thing I said about the CEO Row stuff. If you serious, holla at Glockaware. If you in it for play, play, don't waste their time because man, why bullshit this shit, man? We too old for that. That part. But if they want the funny, they come to Max Madness with. They come to Max Madness. Look, I'm out here everywhere. I'm at every show. That, that's look, I'm I'm not turning down nothing right now. I'm pulling up the I'm pulling up the showcases. I'm pulling up the bar mitzvahs. I'm <laughs> birthday parties. Out look. You might not even know I'm performing. Like if you just cause you don't see me on a flyer, still show up and Max Madness might be there. But follow Max Madness at Max Madness 215. I post every event that I'm going to be at. I give you at least a week in advance. So it's no excuse if you don't pull up. That part, man. I appreciate your time, man. I love you, bro. Stay saving. Stay making people laugh. You you are a therapy. Listen, bro. Love you, man. Keep doing your thing. You an inspiration to me, man. I'm, I'm real shit, bro. Look, you, you say I helped you get in this game? No, nah, brother. I'm watching you do this. You taking it further. Anybody watching, man? Follow the breadcrumbs, man. Follow the bread. He'll show you how to get it. He'll teach you how to get it. Just be willing to accept the knowledge. That part, my God, man. Appreciate you, bro. Sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rude. 
sipping with Sammy Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. We at the Free Love Festival, and I'm with my fucking guy, Bookworm. What is it? Three six nine, but what? Whatever. Bookworm. He in here. How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good, real good. I'm excited. Three six nine K. The first one to pop up. You'll find me there. So I was right. I did better than I thought. But we had the Free Love Festival. It's not your first time here. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. We had a little delay, little COVID and all that. Little, you know, little intermission of us being able to do this. How does it feel to be back at the Free Love Festival? Feel good. I'm excited. I just can't wait to get on the stage. That's it. What do you gain from the Free Love Festival? When you did it in the past, what did you appreciate about it that made you want to do it again? The venue, the space, the people, the vibe. I man, I've been waiting to come back here, yo. <laughs> no, I think that I think that a lot of us feel that way. Like you know, me and you know a lot of the names that's on here tonight. But like, we make it our point that oh, we doing it again. I want to do it. Like it's an excitement about it. And this time, this time, like because I know a lot more names that's on the list. It feel more organic, yo. Like it feel like we built, like we 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 climbed to get here, bro. Like we got here, like from last year to now. Yeah, from a couple years ago. I mean, rest in peace, Chris Cotton. You know what I mean? The original host, the guy that um introduced me to you, he believed in this situation just like he believed in you. Probably believed in you a little more. But it, how does that feel for you to be able to carry on where he, he started? That felt good. That's all I can say. It felt good. That felt good. That felt good. Tell the people how to keep up with everything that you have going on right now, what you got coming up soon. Hey, I actually got an EP I just dropped called Ragnarok. Shout out to Kaido uh, on the track. You can find me at Bookworm at all platforms, but on Instagram you look up 369K, and it's the very first one that pop up. i see y'all around. That part, that's little bro, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, always. And we're going to talk to him in a minute. He owe me another one. Sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right. Please get your fucking life together. It'll be 2023 already, and you went at a shot yet. I'm at the Free Love Festival, and I got my guy in the building. Introduce yourself. My name is Black, B L A K. Believe like a king. Young, young West Philadelphia. You already know. Believe like a king. Young West Philadelphia. You just said a lot in a little bit of time, and I'm sure that's intentional. But tell the people where all that energy comes from, man. Basically, it comes from West Philly, my hometown, my neighborhood, you feel me? Dead Wrong Records, of course, that's my label. Well, not my label, but say, but label I'm a part of. And Grace is for my man Bookworm to bring me around here all the time. He brought me here like the second time just now. You know what I'm saying? So I owe this man a lot for real. So, of course, I got to come out support him. This is where the energy coming from, from support. This is what we all here for, for real, for real. You did. I enjoy that. I appreciate that. Like, from you saying a couple sentences, I know that you on point. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And, and and I know that we have to be intentional about what we're trying to accomplish out here. And you clearly understand that. But with that being said, you here to support Bookworm. But how do people support you? What do you have out here that people can catch up with you on? So basically, man, I got a song out right now that's coming off of my mixtape that's going to be dropping in the fall, which is called Demeanor. Now, Demeanor is, well, basically, you know how people going to carry themselves, how people going to show off and whatever, you feel me? Of course, it's going to be under Dead Wrong Records, under, uh, you know, King Sam's and Design, my people, for real, for real. Shout out Frio, shout out Rod, all them niggas, man, you hear me? But yeah, uh, that's what I got for right now. But also, I got another song coming out called Bodies Island of Chalk. But Demeanor, Stream Demeanor is on SoundCloud. It's on the uh it's on my label page for real for real. Dead Wrong Records. Definitely stream that. We got a lot of shit coming, you hear me? But definitely I got you know demeanor out right now and all that shit. You already know. No, it make a lot of sense and it's crazy because listening to you talk, I'm like salute your family and salute your OGs. Cause you talk that Philly shit. You talk about the essence of what we gave a fuck about. But you wanna know why I got that? I got that from my oldest brother, Derek, right? He's a rapper also called Bonzi. So basically, for real, for real, he told me, he actually sit me down and told me, listen, I'm gonna tell you about yourself and I don't care how you feel, dog. Get it together or get right. I got it together for real, for real. I'm and when you speak, it's bigger than words. Always, it gotta be. That's how you gotta carry yourself. That's what he taught me. King Sam taught me. My brother taught me. Man, I'm just learning every day I'm go. That's why I'm learning. That's why I'm here now. I'm a student of the game just like he is. So that's what we all here for. We're just trying to learn all that. You feel me? 
No, nah, you on point, bro. I appreciate you. Tell the people where to follow at you, follow you at, and all that cool shit. So on Twitter, I'm on Twitter, Black 5400, all cats 5400, Black 215 on Instagram. I'm also on Big O Live as well as Black the Rapper. I'm about to become a host soon. But other than that, that's where y'all can follow me at right now. Oh, I'm also on TikTok doing some little funny things as well as Black the Rapper as well. So follow me on every single one of them. I definitely support, definitely hit back, definitely communicate with y'all. You feel me? Y'all my friends. That's how I get here but for y'all, for real, for real. You hear me? But definitely follow me on all social medias, for real, for real. Y'all hear how he talking, right? And if you know how I operate, you know that you're going to see him around me more often because he know what the fuck is going on. And he know how to carry it. And he know how to get his shit off. And I appreciate that. And I thank you for your time. He wasn't trying to get on camera. He was getting background for bookworm. He was playing his part. We all got to play our position at some point. It don't mean you less of a star. It don't mean you less of an influence. So I appreciate you, bro. You stay solid. My brother. Thank you very much, dog. For real. Keep doing y'all thing, man. Absolutely. Follow me on everything. Tap in with me. Let me know what you got going on. I already did. I already did. Way before you even said that. I already did. My guy. Dope shit, man. You already West Philly still. Sipping with Sammy. I'm at the Free Love Fest, man. And I bumped into Uptown Royalty. One of the sharpest uptown. One of the smoothest uptown. One of the ones that keep the vibe moving uptown. But take it to your town, too, and tear up your karaoke. My God, man, Marcus Harmony. How you feel, bro? Man, I'm feeling wonderful, bro. Like, you know what I'm talking about? I'm feeling even more, you know what I mean? Spectacular to be out here in the elements with my man, Sam. You mean, like, if you ain't drinking. You <laughs> <laughs> but we at the Free Love Festival, somewhere that you've been a part of for years now. A vibe that like we both appreciate in a real way. What do you think that this vibe adds to your creativity or even what energizes you to keep doing these type of things, man? Man, first of all, it's called Free Love Fest. So Free Love Fest, that's that speaks value right there. It's it's, it's powerful. You understand what I'm saying? So that 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 right there, when you can come to a place and get some free love that you know what I mean, you don't have to beg for. You feel me? Like, 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 I'm on some, like, why not? Like, you know what I mean? Especially as an artist, like, you used to being that person to give the free love to, like, you know what I mean? Whether you hit blessing the karaoke's or the open mic, so you doing your own thing, whatever like that, or you featuring on somebody else, you still are the giver, like, yeah. So to come get some free love, like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm all for it, like, you know what I mean? And one thing I can say about it is, what you said is accurate. You give the love when you up there. Yeah. You pour your all into it, you try new things, you experiment with new things, and you execute at the same time. And that's something that everybody can't say they're able to do at many different facets of life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I want to salute you for that, because what they put into the atmosphere, you reciprocate it. Yeah. I've seen you do it multiple times, and I appreciate it every time. So I just want you to be inspired to keep doing that, man. The fact that you still in it for the love, and you got time in. I know more than most. You got time in, you know what I'm saying? But these things are important too, and I appreciate that you appreciate that. Hey, man, hey, I appreciate you coming, having me over here, man. Calling me, like, I'm like, I know that voice from anywhere, like, you know what I mean? We used to sit on the basketball benches just watching jokers play ball all day like yeah we was just watching jokers play ball that's all we was doing yeah i mean just just on some like yeah i mean we watching like all, all the victims like oh yeah like he not he not ready for real for real like i don't even think i'm gonna lace my sneak stuff right now so. <laughs> <laughs> no but real rap man but let the people know how to keep up with you and stay ahead of everything you got going on please hey man i'm i'm, I'm not hard to find my name is marcus harmony you know what I mean? I cut it here. High level cuts. You know what I mean? You can find us at high level cuts. You know what I mean? Uh, on Instagram, Facebook, anywhere. Like, you know what I mean? Marcus Harmony, M A R C U S H A R M H A R M O N Y. No no I E or nothing like that. Just just simple. No underscores, nothing like that. I'm a little fried. I almost forgot my name. Free love out here, man. That's how we rolling. Appreciate you, bro. Always love, man. You already, you already know. 
sipping with Sammy, man. I'm at the Free Love Festival, man. I got my guy in here. Introduce yourself to the people, man. H-O-M-I, the number four O-R-D. Homie for it, you feel me? Free Love Festival. Sipping with Sammy. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me get a mic back. You know? No, that's what it is. No, man, no. You do what you do. You bring the energy as always. And that's why I was glad to see you on the bill tonight, man. You got here. You peeping the scene. You see what it, you see what the free love is about, man. How do you feel to be a part of something like this in the city of Philadelphia? I love it, man. I love it. Motherfuckers don't even know. My first performance ever was right here. Free Love Festival in front of 1,500 people. It was crazy. Like, get what I'm saying? PD Crack, Sandman was on the bill. That was a great night for me. You know what I'm saying? Getting some, some good, like, insights on the game from Crack. Like, you know what I'm saying? Being back. One of the things they got going on that, like, really makes us look forward to the next one type of thing. Because you could, you could jump on a lot of stages and be like, all right, I've done that. But some stages you jump on and you can't wait to do it again. Sure. And this is the one. This is the one. It's all love. Like, it's all love. But, so what have you, um, what did you garner the first time you touched the stage? That What did you feel that you didn't necessarily feel from other places the first time you touched it? Like, immediately. Not at high school. Um, just the, the, the nature of it. Like, when I got on stage, I felt like a natural. Like, everything just felt... Like free, yeah. It didn't feel like I didn't feel like I had to overthink things, and you get what I'm saying. Even though I'm a perfectionist, and when I look back at the performance, I be like, damn, I could have did this better. I was stiff, but really, I did good. You get what I'm saying? And it was because of the environment I was in. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's one of the things. Like you know, I talk to a lot of artists. I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs. A lot of people that do pop ups. And I try to tell them, these are the environments. These street festivals, the free love festival, and what you garner from that, more so than how much money you might make at that venue. Absolutely. It's the love, like when you touch in with your core fans, if you got some, or you can get some from an environment like this, because people was really in tune to your music. Like, I mean, you can't see the crowd, but people was actually standing here watching these people perform. You feel me? This song is hot. You get what I'm saying? It's just a great feel. Like, you learn, like, it's really love when you perform in certain places and you can feel like, like, damn, like, connected with the crowd. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. Tell the people how to stay in tune with everything you got going on, man, please. Follow me anywhere, H O M I F O R D, but on Instagram is H O M I, the number four O R D. I had to switch it up a little bit. But you can follow and stream me anywhere on all streaming platforms. I'm getting tired of saying that because I'm about to get a website. Streaming on platforms ain't shit. I'm going to keep it real, you feel me? Get a website, get all your shit streamed to you so you can get 100%. You get what I'm saying? Get your BMI, get your ass cat as an artist, be an independent, be a. Be a, a go-getter, get your money, because there's money out here in this rap stuff. You don't got to, man, just follow me. You feel me? No, nah, you ain't said nothing wrong, man. Appreciate you always, man. You know you family, bro. Love you, bro. You know what I mean? Stay fly, keep killing shit. That part. Do that, man. We had the Free Love Fest, man. Jaime Ford. All right. You good? Sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right, please get your fucking life together. It'll be 2023 already and you ain't had a shot yet. And I'm at the Free Love Festival, man. Tell them who I got in the building. Young Maji, man. It's your boy, Young Maji, man. Jimmy son, everybody know. That part, Young Maji, man. What's going on with you, man? What you got going on out here in these streets? Nah, chilling, man. Most of you, feel what I'm saying? Every day, getting up, grinding at this music shit, man, until this shit pay off, you feel what I'm saying? I got all my family and shit down here at the Free Love Fest behind me and shit. You about to turn this shit up, man, you feel me? That's what it is. How did you get affiliated with the Free Love Fest? Uh, my management shit, uh, DZ. DZ and shit, that's my management. He put it together. Uh, cuz, uh, Acosta and shit. He uh, hit me in the, with the email and shit. I just like, fuck it, we gonna do it, you feel me? I know, I ain't, never, I ain't never been here, but this shit a good vibe, though. Everybody out here, this shit mean. And that's what I was about to ask you. For somebody that you you, you hear through an email, when you show up, how, that felt good to you, yeah, huh? Real rap, yeah, definitely did. Anytime I get, you mean, I heard the perform, I treat it like it's my, you feel what I'm saying? One of my best performances. So, yeah, y'all gonna see today how we turn up. Well, I'm gonna tell you, as somebody that done touched the stage a few times, man, 
it's a beautiful experience, man. The energy in and out here, because we indoor while we outdoor, is fucking... It feel like where we supposed to be sometimes. For sure, for sure. The, the, and seeing the fans interact, New Year's songs and shit like that, that'd that be the best feeling. That's what I'm saying. I got the support all here, everybody out here. I got all my folks out here. It's going to be a good job, bro. It's going to be a good job. I'm looking forward to your performance. Let the people know how to stay ahead of everything you got going on. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Young Maji. Uh, you can get me on Twitter at One Young Maji. That's all I got on social media. I don't really be on social media for real. Apple Music, all streams, Young Maji, uh, Spotify, SoundCloud, wherever you want, YouTube, everywhere. Young Maji, Jimmy something, man. That part, appreciate you. Can't wait to see you rock out, man. Good luck on stage, bro. All right. Sipping with Sammy, man. I'm at the Free Love Festival. Tell the people who I got out here with me. Man, you already know who it is. Your boy Jay going up in the flesh, you know what I'm saying? R&B soul, you know? You five, ten minutes off stage. How did it feel up there tonight, man? And the energy was crazy, man. I felt the love out there for real. Uh, you know, this is my city, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying trying to do a lot for this city, man. I see a lot of kids out here, you know, getting caught up in the streets. And, like, it's, it's nothing like that. I'm trying to show them, trying to give them a good example, you know what I'm saying? Trying to set a positive mindset for the youth out here, you know what I'm saying? So this is really all it's for. I think as long as you remain intentional about that, then you're going to do that because you did great tonight, man. You killed it. You were early on in the evening. The energy, they still get acclimated to it, but they reacted, they responded, they they was tapped in. Motherfuckers was trying to buy shit and turned around to look while they was handing somebody their money. That's the thing, man. So salute to you for that. Appreciate you, bro. For real, it's all about the attention span. You gotta really gravitate to the listener. You know what I'm saying? So that's really all. It's about. I've been doing this for over ten years, bro. Like I'm really, I'm in this, bro. This is what I love to do. So try and set a good example for the people just like me. That part. How did you get um, acclimated with the Free Love Festival? Uh, shout out Emil. He DM me, hit my me guy. up. Yeah, my guy, he hit me up. You know, he told me what the cause was for. So, you know, I'm already on go. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even worry about no cheese, none of that, man. I'm out here for the kids, for the love, for the people, for my city. So, you know. That's nah, that's, that's, that's definitely awesome, man. And, and I appreciate you for that. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that I appreciate you for that. Thank you for acknowledging me, bro, for real, bro. Like, man, it's kids out here like me that don't even think that, like, they can even make it this far, bro. So, I'm really trying. You know what I'm saying? You get it, bro. Yeah, but what I do is from a real place. You know what I mean? I'm an artist just as much as I'm a man and anything else. Mm -hmm. And when I see somebody that's talented and I see somebody that's chasing something, even if they try to figure it out, I still get on the benefit of the doubt. And I can put them on whatever platform makes sense for what level they're at. But at the Free Love Festival, I just saw what you did. You know what I mean? This ain't even on a whim. This ain't, oh, he about to rock. I saw what you did. So keep doing what you do. Let my crowd know how to keep up with you and let them you know what's going on with you. Yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can follow me on the gram, J A Y Y G O I N U P. I'm out now. I brought my dog Von Lucas with me. Hey, Von, come get in the cam. Come get some cameo, bro. Let's go with y'all. Let's go with y'all. My name is Von Lucas. You dig? What's your Instagram? Uh, underscore Von Lucas. You got music out there? Yes, I have music on uh, Apple Music. Well, all streaming on all platforms. Under what? Oh, under Von Lucas. All platforms. That part, man. That's love, man. You, you brothers keep doing the good shit, man. Keep working. Keep being creative. Keep inspiring. And keep being open to things like this. Because these are the things that build the community back up to where we used to talk about. You know what I mean? So... I appreciate y'all. Appreciate you, bro, for real, bro. Man, we already shot our free love fest, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it. That part, man. Sibble with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rug, and everything else cool. I don't even want to get into it because I got my family here, man. I got sis here. We had the free love fest. It's somebody that has always gave me free love. Rhythm HB, one of the flyers. How you doing? Thanks, big bro. How you? Oh, I'm good. I'm even better now. Happy Real birthday. Shit. Thank you, baby. Thank you, yo. Man, I'm happy to be here. I really haven't seen y'all. I really haven't seen y'all in like three months. So what have we missed? Man, in the process of getting everything right tight, music is on the way. Man, listen, I got... It's too, it's too crazy. I'm even showcasing something tonight, so... Something new? Something new, semi-new, but new flavor, for sure. So, HB is somebody that if you keep up with my movement, you are always going to see, and I don't care how much you see her, because every time that you see her, you're going to feel more like I do about her. But, you haven't been around, and you're telling me that you have been working since your absence. 
That's exciting for me. So what I get tonight is a preview to what you're going to tell me about off camera that the people not even privy to. But how has um how has the energy shifted since the last time you performed at a free love festival as far as your artistry? Wow. I can honestly say it's the last time I performed at the Free Love Festival, which was in 2019. The amount of work, the amount of different spaces I've been exposed to on behalf of my big bro right here, the type of development I went through, it's going to be one hell of a show tonight, and I'm more confident than ever before. I'm looking different. I'm smelling different. You know what I'm saying? The music is hitting different. You know what I'm saying? And I'm excited. I really am, you know? And I, I mean, the crowd is crazy. Y'all can't even see what I see, but it's like, you know, it's a nice collection of people, beautiful people, talented artists. You know what I'm saying? A lot of young cats out here that I'm like, real sh like, you know what I'm saying? You hear it right now. Like, hey, I'm hyped. Crazy in the background. It's crazy, right? Yeah, man. I feel good. For sure. Well, as usual, you look like a million dollars. I know that your artistry is worth more than that. I'm excited to see you, as usual, touch the stage once again. I'm glad that it's at the Free Love Festival. I'm glad that I got a couple minutes with you before your performance, because sometimes I catch you afterwards, and you be on yeah. But y'all, y'all gotta know, um, this shit ain't easy. It sure ain't. You already know. Ooh, it's hot. Summer Sam, better keep your doors locked. Hey, let the people know how to keep up with you, please. Hey man, you can find me everywhere, Rhythm HB, and that's R H Y T H M H B. All right, Rhythm HB, I got some new music on the way, some remixes I just dropped. Keep up with me. I'm betting the farm on this one. Sipping with Sammy Sam Malone, and I'm at the Free Love Fest, man, and I got somebody that. If you've seen the last Free Love Festival video, you know that this is my family. This is one of the organizers. This is one of the brains. This is one of the reasons that I'm a part of this situation. Please introduce yourself to my crowd once again. My name is Lars Jetta. Some people call me Fresh. Some people call me Elliot by my middle name. I'm here with my man Emil. We've been best friends for, for, for life since, since high school. We've been holding it down. So we had the Free Love Fest, and we just having a lot of fun, fun with it. Yeah, and um, I want to salute y'all on providing this space for artists, for community, for um, merch, you know, people with, you know, entrepreneurs and all of that. I, I want to say salute to y'all because everybody that's gotten on this microphone has expressed how comfortable and how loved this is and how the, the name is really exuberant yeah, throughout this yeah, this yeah, indoor yeah. outdoor space so i want to salute y'all on that but i want you to tell a little bit of background on your understanding on why this was even necessary in the first place well wonderful wonderful so so i'm gonna give a little a little more history than than um than he asked for so my um my coach when i when i was young i was playing basketball my coach dennis davis one of the things that he um that he gave to us was he always said i'm teaching y'all so y'all can teach the next generation so within that, me and Emil, just in diff different spaces in life, we always wanted to give back to the community. Organization is called Free Inspiration Reaching Everyone. That's what FIRE stands for. So that's essentially what we're doing here today, which is bringing different artists together, um, grassroots artists, grassroots performers, grassroots people who sell different merchandise, different stuff like that. We're giving them an, an outlet to, 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 to show their, show their works because and it was like this don't really get that many events where we're showcasing in a major way without trying to come up off of right, right 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 so it's it's just been a it's just a great atmosphere it, it, and all around good good thing for the community for the philadelphia community we always want to get back to the philadelphia community that part well once again i want to say thank you for um introducing me to the man that has always kept me a part of this situation Thank you for being a good man throughout our family unit, yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's first and foremost. Honest, you know what I'm honest, saying? Honest, honest. But um, let the people know how to keep up with you and how to see what you and others that's attached to you have going on via what you have wonderful, going on. Wonderful, wonderful. So um, so to keep up with me, Instagram L E J dot I I I, which stands for the which stands for the third. That's for first. All my initials is Lars L E G to the third. That's how you're going to find me. Um. What was the next thing? How to keep up with everything that got going on. Then you're gonna that. Then now you're gonna follow Fire Emil Agalazzi, 
That's how you're going to keep up with us in our space. I'm also a coach for Hood and Rich Athletic Associates. We are association. Um, you can keep up with us on uh, on Instagram at Hood and Rich, H O O D E E N R I C H E D. Find us, follow us, help out, help out. I'm going to pull up on a basketball situation. I'm going to bring the cameras and the microphone soon. Please do. I just got to let you know when it is. I'm bad at that. I'm going to let you know, though. I'm bad at that. Then we good. 100. 100. Appreciate you guys. Uh, 100%. 100%. Love you, bro. Love you, love you. Sipping with Sammy, man. We doing a lot of free love shit at the Free Love Festival right now. And I got somebody that I've known for quite a bit now that actually set this motherfucker off. Shout out to you. Tell the people who we got in the building with us. It's your girl, Silent Angel. You already know. You already know what it is. Coming from Delaware, but I'm from West Philly, but I'm coming from Delaware. How was your um how was your um free love festival experience as somebody that's already touched the stage today? Um, well I've been here in twenty nineteen, so I already knew that it was gonna be nothing, but like the title said, free love, so that's all it is out here. I, I was nervous, you know, because it's been a long time, but like two years since it's been events and shows. So this was actually like my first time getting back out and performing again. So I just want to say shout out to Mel for even reaching out to me, you know what I'm saying, and asking me if I wanted to be a part again. So that's Cheney fam, so I'm always going to be down to do something for a Mel, you feel me? Well, all anxiety aside, whether you know it or not, you done what you came to do. I got some footage. I got some pictures. I'm going to send you all that. You done what you came to do. You sparked it. The people was filing in while you was getting busy. You done your job. So I want to salute you on that. Appreciate you, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you. For real. Thank you. Absolutely. But as somebody that's a veteran of the Free Love Festival experience, how did you get affiliated with it? And what did you gain from this? What do you gain from this as an artist, as a creator? Um, well, I got affiliated uh, with it, like I said, because I know Emil from when we went to Cheney. And when he reached out to me the first time, it was a no-brainer. So when he asked me again, I was definitely, you feel me, like I was definitely getting in on that joint. And I mean, for me as an artist, like I said, it's been a while since things been on pause. So I feel like getting back on stage and having my name out there and getting the opportunity to have my name out there can grow my following just a little bit more. So I appreciate that. I appreciate just being able to be on the stage, even if it doesn't, that doesn't transpire. You know, I'm, like I said, show mad love to Emil. So I just want to say I appreciate him for the opportunity. That's all. Building this platform. Nah. That's dope, and I think that's the intention of what they got going on here. They want to they wanna build a feel-good environment for us that where even if we feel like we ain't been in the mix, we feel like that's where we want to mix at. You know what I mean? I think that that's actually dope as hell. But tell the people how to keep up and stay ahead of everything that you got all going on. Well, I also do photography, so, you know, you can follow my, uh, my photography page at Silent Angel Creations, and you can follow my artist page at DE Artist Silent Angel underscore. If you want to know anything that's going on with me, just follow me, and you'll see everything that I got going on. Appreciate you always. Appreciate you, man. You Keep doing your thing. Bro. Thank you. Thank you. Sipping with Sammy, man, and I got the Glockaway family in here, man. County Kravis, CME Morning Shows on, um, man. Just give me a little bit of, um, give me a little bit of sauce on what you see in the situation real quick. Give them a little backdrop on what you looking at right now. I mean, you, when I tell you, when I tell you there's so many different kinds of people in here. Like from my walk from the front door to right here, I probably came across like 45 different kinds of people. <laughs> Whatever that means. Whatever that means. <laughs> but I came across that many kinds of different people. Right. Everybody just in their own bag. Everybody's enjoying themselves. Mm. But it's one purpose, though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's to have fun. Enjoy the, you know what I'm saying? The people that's out here enjoy the acts that's on stage. The young girl that just went up there just killed it. You know what I'm saying? She did her thing. You know, that's what it's about. It's about the youth. Giving them a platform to do things, you know? So it's pretty dope. Absolutely, man. This is something that I've had the pleasure of being a part of since I think inception. I've done it a few times. Um, I've, I've I've stood on that stage with one leg. I, I did it a week after my ACL surgery with a cane. No bullshit. Yeah, crazy. 
you know, but I never knew this was here. Out of all the shit that I wasn't doing them during them weeks, I wasn't going to miss this one. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it rained and they pushed my performance mm. back because they didn't want me to be on a wet stage or one lit. Uh, you know, I went through all of that. But one thing that remains solid and remains stagnant is Free Love Festival is Free Love Festival. It's really love. The crowd is always official. The vendors are always official. And I come from Morgan State. We used to have this thing called the Love is Love Picnic. Mm. And afterwards, it was like some um, plateau shit. In Baltimore, but like yeah. you always felt like love is like at the end you like how was your your love was love love was love so I think free remember love is kind of the same thing. Remember that quote, "Love is love." This is one of those, like you said, like it's one of those situations. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's interested in what's going on here. Where though, usually when you look at most events, people are coming in and they're coming in for a specific reason. Here, it's just about love. Free love fest. It's free love. Anywhere else you gotta pay for it. So let the people know how to keep up with everything you got going zones and where you gonna be at, man. Yeah, absolutely. So uh August 19th to the 21st, we'll be in Staten Island uh for a huge uh, performance. I'm at Moolah Fest, and then um you can follow me everywhere. Who is Kravitz uh, on Instagram, see me morning show on Instagram. ND underscore Expo 22 on Instagram. Um, Google County Kravitz, Chris Mack, whatever it is. It's, it's, it's coming up. You know, everything, a lot of, a lot of stuff is coming up. That part, appreciate you, man. Enjoy the rest of the free love out here. Maybe we can get girls, girls, girls done in a minute. Yeah, yeah. They, they need that. They need that. That part. Flash it only. Please and thank you. Free love. Sipping with Sammy. I'm at the Free Love Festival. I've been sipping, but I'm super excited because Gail Campbell and Stanley Ipkiss is in here with me right now, man. How are y'all this evening? We are so good. Happy to be here at the Free Love Festival. Been looking forward to this all year. So, what about you, Ipkiss? We was here last year and we couldn't wait to come back. A lot of it has to do with this beautiful creative space. Like, I love that they have it here because it just it just feels so special. I feel like when you name something free love, you got to be intentional about where you put it at. And this space, as far as a love space, as far as a creative space, I feel like it's perfect. And I feel like every single artist or creative that I talk to that's here. It's one of those things that it's like, no, this isn't a money thing. This is a vibe thing. This is a something that when they weren't able to do it, my spirit was missing it thing. You know what I mean? And I think that they, they've done a great job of bringing a great collective together to experience the love together. Yes. And just shout out to Emil and his brothers. And you can just feel their commitment to this, to their um, charity and everything. It's just a blessing to be a part of it. Now, since you've been on this stage, you've been on my platform. You've released some things. Can you tell the people the things that you guys have had going on since the last time we've been able to speak to it? Yes, yes. Um, last time we were here at Free Love Festival, we had released our first album together called Bloody Waters, and we performed joints from that album. This time, we are here with our second album that we released um, like a month ago. June 12th. June 12th. Congratulations, happy birthday. Yes. <laughs> and we are... Yeah. We are excited to be able to share some of those um, songs from the new album here at Free Love Festival. Again, it's a um, collaborative album between me and it. It produced every single thing on there, and um, we had fun creating it, and it was it was amazing. One thing for sure, two things for certain that I appreciate is the fact that you guys have found a synergy that you're able to recreate. It wasn't for a moment. You know, sometimes we catch a stride. We catch a month or a week or so when we could bang some things out, and it was perfect, and it's hard to get that back. You know what's but crazy? On the way down here, 
And we haven't we haven't did like a long road trip in a in a minute. Uh -huh. So on the way down here, we do what we do. It started playing beats, stuff that I never heard. And I was vibing to him and singing to him. And it just shows that that synergy is so organic and it's so real and it's so authentic because it just keep happening. It just keep happening. Like we were looking like we need to record some of this stuff. We've been just on the way down here. Studio session next week. Let me know. I can, I can, I can hit the turnpike. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Next week, we are going to be having a studio session, but we're going to be putting our set together for 24 Hours of Peace and the Solar Lincoln Park in Newark. That, those are two big festivals that we're going to be preparing for in the studio. Well, give us details. What's the dates and the, and the situation? When are you in the state? Um, the Soul of Lincoln Park is August 9th. Uh -huh. And um, 24 Hours of Peace is September 2nd and 3rd. No, I mean, no, no I said August. September 9th. Right. For Soul of Lincoln Park. Yeah. These are, gonna, these are the biggest festivals that we have in our city in Newark. And, um, yeah, so we're going to be preparing for those. Sounds awesome. I know y'all going to kill it. I know you're excited for it. But I'm still waiting for y'all to touch the stage tonight. Oh. I'm going to be here tonight. If I can make it out there, then I'll be there also. Listen, Jess, I, I hope they got the um, fire extinguishers. Because, like, we about to torch some stuff. Sammy, we, we about to torch it. I know what you about to do. I already understand what you about to do. But I'm going to let Stanley know, let the people know how to keep up with you guys and what you guys got going on, how to stay ahead of what you guys going on. Please. Uh, just follow us on um, social medias. You know, again, like you said, we're about to perform these two big events in Newark and just come out there and support. What's the social media? Oh, mine's just King Ipkiss 26 on Instagram, Stanley Ipkiss Facebook. And, and mine is Gail Campbell Music. The name of the new album is called Let My People Go, and it's available on all the major music outlets. And it has, we are so happy to announce that it has been nominated for Album of the Year for Heritage Hip Hop. Hey! Heritage Hip Hop has not, we have nominated, so. Heavy. Fingers crossed uh, that we'll bring that joint home. One thing that I recommend when you tap in with Gail Campbell, if you never have, check out the visuals, man. Dig into the visuals. She takes those things seriously. There's dark ones. There's bright ones. There's always energy attached. There's never just putting up a camera and trying to do something. The, I, the, the, these things are real productions. So. We really, we really think about it, and we really try to bring something for the people to um, to really be in awe of. We put a lot of effort into what we do. We love what we do, so we just can't just be like today's are cool about it. Well, that's part of what I love. I love that you're the total package, and I told you that when I met you. Thank you. Thank nope. you for always supporting us and encouraging us, and you know we really appreciate it. And you know you and Free Love Festival has allowed us to be able to come into the Philly market, and hopefully we'll be able to do more things, and I'll be able to come down here more and perform. Well, I have the concert series. I want to get you on my concert series, and um, also. Anything that makes sense, reach out. Just because you've been on my platform once doesn't mean you can't be on any one of them again or that you haven't been on. If you have something new coming on and you have something you want to get across to the people, even if that's just a message, let me know. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that. Okay. Love y'all. Thank you. Sipping with Sammy Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right. Please get your fucking life together. It'll be 2023 already. You wouldn't have a shot yet. I'm at the Free Love Festival, man, and I got my guy in the building. Tell him who we got right now. On phase three, that's U N F A Z E D R E E. Solid, solid. So, what brings you to the Free Love Festival today, man? I'm here to get the people a good show and just have a good time and say, get my name out there. I heard that, man. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? 
I just turned 18 in May. Salute to you, young brother. Salute to you, man, on some real shit. Because for you to be 18 and for you to answer that question the way you answered it and to be where you are today, that says a lot for somebody like me that meets artists all the time. It means that you're doing something right and that you focus on the right things. So let the people know what you got going on out here, what you what they can tap into and what they can look forward to, please. But uh, You can follow me on Instagram at 25.re or find my music on all platforms, 25. Uh, on Fees, read my fault. And I got two projects out right now, Re Made Me Do It Volume 1 and Re Made Me Do It Volume 2. It's a whole lot of energy that y'all going to like, so go check it out. So when you say energy, what kind of energy you giving them? Like, what would you relate your style to for the people that's not here? Because I'm going to see you tonight, they not. But I, I'm, a, I'm real versatile, bro. Like, I could... I could give you XXX energy, I could give you Kanye energy, I could give you Uzi energy, I could give you Tupac energy, I could give you all of that. I like him, because like I said early on, he's specific, he's intentional, and like I always say when it comes down to our artistry, we got to be intentional about what we're trying to get out there. A lot of times people just throw darts, but you sound like you very focused on what you understand that you bring to the situation which means that you'll only be greater based on that you're not fishing you know what i mean so i, I definitely like how you talk but once again let the people know how to keep up with you and everything you got going on you can find me at on phase three on all platforms u-n-f-a-z-e-d-r-e-e -E -E, or 25.re on the gram now i'm gonna keep it g i just made a bathroom run came down the steps he grabbed me Sammy, yo, I'm, yeah, like, so, no. watching, bro. I know who you is, bro. Well, I'm glad to got to get you on my platform, and I, I look forward to watching your progression, man. And anything that makes sense, let me know how I can be helpful. My man. Appreciate it. It's hot as hell. I'm sweating. I'm excited, though. <laughs> Fly shit. I fucks with it. Sipping with Sammy, and we at the Free Love Festival, man. And I got my guy, somebody that actually met here a few years back, man. Superfly, no wings. Already tore the stage down. Gail Campbell on stage right now. But Superfly, man, how did it feel tonight, man? Oh, uh, man, it felt great, as usual, man. That's one thing I'm expecting when I'm here, man. It's going to be some love for free. You feel me? That's why it's the Free Love Festival. That's why it's the fourth year anniversary. That part. What you got going on since the last time that they seen you on here at the Free Love Festival? You've done a lot in the meanwhile, but what you got coming up, man? What you done? So, you know, I always just tell people to tap in and stay tuned, man. There's always some good things going on. Got some music I'm about to start releasing. I've been loading up my vault, you know what I'm saying? I've been basically getting ready for the zombies, basically, you feel me? But I feel like it's about time to start letting some stuff out, letting some dogs out the cage, you feel me? As well as actually having some dogs ready to be let out the cage. I'm also dog breeding. Going to have some puppies available to end of October, some micro bully puppies. And I say in November, I would have some French bulldog puppies available. God willing. Entrepreneurship at its finest, man. Well, tell the people how to keep in contact with you and so they can stay ahead of everything you got going on. You can follow me at Superfly No Wings. S U P A F L Y N O W I N G S. And shout out to Gail Campbell right now because that voice is soulful in the back. I hope y'all hear that like I hear it. No bullshit, man. She killing it. Appreciate you, bro. You already know what it is over this side. Sipping with Sammy, we still at the Free Love Festival. Gail Campbell just turned, tore the stage down. I still got Superfly No Wings with me. Kravitz and Max Madness is on the stage hosting. Right now, we still got MCs performing. Rhythm HB is coming up very soon. It's a vibe, man. Shout out to Fear, shout out to Sister. Yeah. There she go. Yeah, we out here, man. I'm still sipping, we still smoking. It's still Free Love, that's what we doing. Please and thank you. Fly shit. Y'all straight? We good? Now, this is the energy I like, man. Yo, Mozzie and them just went up there acting crazy at the Free Love Festival. And they came back to tell me how I felt to do that. So, come on, man. I'm going to let you run this. Go ahead. Talk this shit. Oh, man. That shit was jumping, man. We had the crowd turned up. You feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Everybody's fucking with us, man. That shit was jumping. I like... 
I like how everybody, like all the other performers and shit, they was fucking with us too, you feel me? We out here networking, it's about everybody coming together and shit, some, some shit. I, I got a little bro with me, L1 and shit, he an artist and shit too, y'all fuck with these hoes. Man, you already know what it is, Big L1. Everything coming for me, coming for everything this year, man. Just went up there, did our thing, for me. You already know how we're running. It's not right here, man. I'm with the guys right now. Feel me? We out here. My niggas just form leak. Vibe, you feel me? Let's go, y'all. We turn. You feel me? Man, boy, Wiz on the stage right now. He turning up. D1 out there. Shake that. Let's get it. Let's get it. Big CEO, you feel me? Big CEO. Feel me? My man, he just hit the stage. Hold him, can you hang My man just hit the stage. We ain't got a fire pop. My man, YM2. Feel me, studio in the back, rolling up the door. Feel me, we just catching the vibes. Feel me, my man, why you ain't got booked? And we just catching the vibes. We with the stars right now. There's some stars right here. Everybody get the stars back to my. It is only the, it is only the beginning, man. We the youngest doing it. We got big Snoop in the back too. Hell, hell, we trying, man. <laughs> EP coming soon, man. Painted violence coming real soon this month, man. podcast, man. For real, man. We appreciate it. For real, love fest. Oh yeah, let me ask you. Some you want to say something? Oh, right, oh, you know, how we come, we coming some fly ass shit. You know, my man, why you coming? RTA, Dollar, Diamonds, Gas, them bitches from Shine. Feel me, my man? You know how he coming? You know how he coming? You know how we coming? You know how we coming? You know how we coming? Yo. Nah, I'm gonna ask y'all one thing. You know, we in the middle of the bullshit. It's a lot of dumb shit going on. What keeps y'all energy up? What makes y'all want to keep doing things like this? To not do the nonsense, like keep it G. What keeps y'all a unit that's not out here being on the list? I feel like I'm. I'm gonna say that. I'm, I'm about to say that. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the money for one, keep us out the way and shit. Like we ain't like from saying. And then I'm gonna say like the shit like this. Like we got like we we, we want to do shit like this. This show is like we getting closer to. The bigger stage, you feel what I'm saying? Like, we getting bigger and bigger every time we do shit like this. So, if we want to keep on doing shit like this, we not out here on dumb ass shit, you feel what I'm saying? We get, we getting our money, we staying in the studio, we making our content, we giving this shit to y'all, man. Y'all know what's going on. We the youngest doing this shit, too. That part, anybody else? Man, we got what everybody want already, man. We ain't got none of that bullshit, for me? EP coming soon, Pain of Violence, Leaky, l e w k y for me right now, I'm coming. I mean, it's not even half of us, it's not even a quarter of us, but feel me, we coming strong, everybody play their role, that's how we are famous. That's how it's only gonna be. <laughs> feel me? That's what it is, well, let everybody know how to keep up with y'all, man, so they can keep getting this energy so that y'all can get booked more. Oh yeah, Up The Way Productions, y'all can follow Up The Way Productions on the gram, y'all can follow me at Young Maji on the gram, y'all can follow me You can follow me, Leaky1, L-E-E-K-K-Y-1. My man Nah, y'all can follow Nah Ball on the gram. It's an I3, you know what I'm saying? My man CEO Duke, man, Slooty, man, we here, man. Turning up, love fest. That's what it is. I appreciate y'all, man. Salute. Y'all did y'all thing, man. Real shit. My guy. Sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool, Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right. Please get your fucking life together. It'll be 2023 already and you wouldn't have a shot yet. We at the Free Love Festival. Tell them who we got in here right now. Man, your boy Dixon, the poet here, repping Coachville, PA, all day. Coachville. Coachville. Yeah. Word. Salute, 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 man. How you feel about the Free Love Festival, and how did you um, get affiliated with it? Oh, uh, man, I actually uh, wanted a dude, I think his name was Emil. He, uh, he had seen me at another event, because I do poetry and all that. You know what I mean? He seen me somewhere else, and now uh, I reached out. So uh, I came down, I put my man on, King in the Kitchen, he back there cooking. I put my other man on, Marvelous Wear, he got his clothesline over there. I got my candy, my uh, my books over there, you know what I mean? Like, uh, so Mill put us on and we just showed up. No, that's dope. Man after my own heart, you found the opportunity, found a way to put everybody in a situation. Already. That's what we supposed to do out here, you know what I mean? We gotta fight for this shit. We gotta make sure everybody get the exposure and the free love. Facts, facts, facts. I figured with the free love joint, perfect opportunity to put my mans on and show some love. You know what I mean? That's what it is. So, so far, how you feel about it? Is there anything you expected it to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This joint dope, man. I, this is my first time over here. So, like, this whole setup is crazy. Like, this is a dope event, man, for real.
I've been a part of this since I think inception, if not the year after inception, but I done did this a few times. And it's one thing that's consistent. The setup is dope, the energy is dope, and the quality of the performances is 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 always awesome. So so you were part of a good one. You were part of something good and um welcome. Dig it, dig it, man. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me. Seriously. How can people keep up with you and your folks and everything y'all got going on? Shout out to everybody shit. Oh, okay. All right. So first off, me, uh, I got a poet. I'm a spoken word poet. I got books out. Uh, I got a writing service as well. You can catch me on IG at Scribe City Poetry, S-C-R-I-B-E, City Poetry. And uh, I got a Rude Boy candy line as well, mm -hmm. THC Edibles, if you want to elevate yourself. That's uh, IG at Rude Boy Candy, R-U-D-E-B-O-I Candy. Then we got my man, King of the Kitchen, craziest cook around, man. He actually, I don't know if you got the hit up to the little situation up there, but the egg rolls and the wings and all that, my man put them on. He ordered from my man, you know what I mean? So you can follow him, IG, at King of the Kitchen, King of the Kitchen. And uh, my man, my other man with the clothes, you can follow him at Marvelous Wear. And uh, yeah, we all on IG, man. Tap in with us, man. Seriously. Yo, I'm going to tell you something that's dope. My man set up the situation for himself, brought the folks through, and knew everybody IG. So they ain't, you know what I mean? Like, no, these things are important because just like you said, you came with them. I wanted to make sure that if they don't get over here, that you got them here. So I appreciate you, and I appreciate you being efficient with your time. Dig it. Dig it. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Tap in with me. We figure something out. Yes, sir. You ready? Simple with Sammy Sam Malone, and I'm at the Free Love Festival, man. Tell them who I got in the situation with me. Uh, me, Spady. Word, man. How you? How you feel today? I'm feeling good, man. I just got off the stage, so. What that stage felt like, man? Did you get that free love? Definitely got the free love. Um, I tried to do something different. I noticed wasn't nobody coming off stage, so I tried to come off stage with a mic malfunction on me. So I had to go back up and shit, so. I saw that, but it worked out. It, it still was cool. Everybody knew what happened. Like, you know what I mean? It definitely worked out. I did a good set. Ain't nobody boo me, so. Nah, it's all love, and you actually did your thing. Mishaps happen. This is a live show. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, I participate in a lot of live events like you do. Some things, things happen, but it's about how you carry it. About how you carry it. And shout out to Kravitz. As soon as you came over, Kravitz was like, this the boy that just got off stage. He, like, no, we know quality when we see it, man. But when you came into the situation, what did you expect and what did you get as a result? I really didn't expect the venue to be as big. I wasn't sure. I'd never been here before, so I wasn't right. expecting the venue to be so big. But um, I just was expecting, you know, probably something a little rinky dig or whatever, like a little, you know what I mean? So, but it was, it was it was a lot better than what I thought it was, though, for sure. So this is something you would definitely do again? Listen, man, I told Emil, every year, bro, no matter how big I get, I'm going to always come back here. So... If I blow up, if I get signed, whatever, I'm going to always try to come back here. Even when you blow up and when you decide whether you want to sign or not, you'll be back. Always be back to this joint, bro. See, I had to rearrange his words. We being intentional about this shit for my brother. You know what I mean? Because he going to win and he going to make his own decisions. But we always going to give back to the people that showed us that free love. For sure, bro. For sure. That's what it's all about for me, that give back. For sure. That's what it is, man. Let the people know how to keep up with everything you got going on. How to pre how to predate your movement. How to know what's coming up before it happens. Okay. Uh, if you want to pretty much keep tabs, you can go to my website, uh, www.meetspady.com. Or you can follow me on any social media, uh, at Meet Spady, M-E-A-T-S-P-A-D-Y. I'm mainly on Instagram. I'm very active on there. So I'm always doing giveaways. I'm always doing raffles. I'm always trying to get back to the people, man. So that's what I'm into. That's what it is, man. And he going to tap in with me some more. So you'll see more of him on my platforms, too. But I appreciate you, brother. Absolutely. Sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right, please get your fucking life together. It'll be 2023 already and you ain't had a shot yet. I'm at the Free Love Festival still, and they up in a wave behind us. But who I got right now with me? You got your finest magic in the building. Pleasure to meet you, man. What brought you to the Free Love Festival? Man, it's nothing but our love, man. I bring the love and the peace. So whenever I do that, it's always beautiful to see us come together doing magical things. I like that. I like that a lot. What is the audience going to get from you today? What love do you bring to the situation? 
Oh man, something that the, the world that they need love, man. In peace, it's beautiful, man. The air blowing, the universe talking to us, man. I'm here. And as he say, the air is blowing. No bullshit. This is like one of them divine breezes, like the breeze that the whole park need at one time when we could just, you know what I mean? So you was tapped into that. I salute you on that. I salute you on that because you was right on it. But um. What, what, what can the people expect? How can they keep up with you? How can they tap into your movement and all of that? Hey, man, listen, I got a lot going on, man. It's nothing but my legacy, but I got my clothing line. I got my trucking line going. My podcast is going to be coming pretty dope, soon. Dope. Uh, you can find me on uh, Magic, um, excuse me, OG Wilson on Facebook. You can find me on OG Wilson 56 on Instagram. I got my own clothing line for the ladies. Uh, I, I do everything myself. This is, my, this is what I got right here. It's called Marvelous Wear. I got my thing right here. It's different sets. I mean, you feel me? Ladies need the tights with the with the pockets, so they gotta come holler at me. I, I do everything. It's a lot, you know. I got other things coming. My man said, "Clothing line, trucking company. <laughs> you wanna know? Yeah, yeah. I got to. I got to capitalize on this thing, man. They 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 own a lot of other fuck shit, so I gotta. Oh, excuse me. Please excuse me. They own a lot of different times, so." I'm on a different movement, so I'm really about us working together, you know what I mean? And it's serious. That's awesome. I like it. I like it a lot, man. Make sure you tell them once again how to keep up with everything you got going on. Once again, you can find me on OG Wilson on 50, uh, OG Wilson on Facebook, OG Wilson on Instagram, 56 Instagram, and whatever. Just reach out to me, and we can, we can make it happen. That's what's up, man. Best of luck. Congratulations yeah. everything you got going on, man. Thank you, bro. You Absolutely. Sipping with Sammy Sam alone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right, please get your fucking life together. We still at the Free Love Festival, man. Who I got in this situation with me? Uh, King of the Kitchen, Rico. Y'all know me. <laughs> <laughs> That's Buzz Talk. He said, I am the King of the Kitchen. I am Rico. And y'all know me. All three in a the, in the short sentence. And what you choose? What's, what the fuck you got? I do you think, baby? Uh, my business partner. Okay. Uh, Rude Boy Candy. I think he already got on the mic with you. Books Candy. This is what we do. He actually locked the event down. And they said they needed food. We out here getting this money. Chasing the bag. I heard that. So you was offered the opportunity. You took advantage of the opportunity. How you feel about this environment tonight? Man, I love this environment. You know what I mean? I prepared for a, a bigger outcome, but man, this whole thing was dope. I'm just the smoking, the people, this whole thing right here. And uh, people been showing love the whole time. They've been back there. My job been a constant line. So, you know what I mean? Definitely was dope. The whole music, everything, this whole scenery. Definitely. Literally free love. Free love. Free love, free smoke, free atmosphere. And great cooking from you. Oh, yeah, you know, we had everything back there popping. Bunch of equipment back there. First time that we went this far. You know what I mean? But uh, everything had an upside to everything. So we, we did what we wanted to do. Well, I'm going to tell you a secret. You keep growing and keep making sure that you can provide for situations like this. I got more opportunities for you. You hear me? You hear me? Yes, sir. So what you had um, today, what did you provide for the people today? Okay, so we had the smash burgers with cheese, we had the wings, we had the uh, kebabs, the chicken on the stick and the beef kebab. We had the sweet corn. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, wings. E egg rolls. Egg rolls. That's the whole thing that I'm, man, honestly, my egg rolls. All right, bet, 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 bet. They got, I got uh, two, three trays in there for the, everybody that's supposed to go back there. Um, the egg rolls, definitely, that's what got me here. That's what started me off, like. To this height, you know what I mean. Who taught you how to make all this shit? <laughs> I don't know, man. I got I got four kids, man. I I get I get real uh, experience, yeah, real creative. Get on, get real creative for the kids in the kitchen all the time. I got two boys, two girls. You know what I mean? Definitely, that's what trying, man. <laughs> no, that's what it is. And you know, sometimes we find things in the in the strangest ways, out of necessity, a lot of the time. But you able to capitalize off of that. And that shows the power within us. So you're going to be able to take it as far as you want to take it. And I want to salute you on that. And I want to wish you luck on everything that comes after this. But thank you for being a part of the Free Love Festival. Let the people know how to keep up with everything y'all got going on. Uh, King of the Kitchen, Instagram, Facebook, Enrico Gregory. However you want to see me. Rude Boy Candy, 
Scribe City. I'm sorry. But uh, we got different outlets. We on every uh, social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. What else is there? Yelp. We might even be on Yelp. That's what we doing. That's what we doing. Appreciate you, bro. Sipping with Sammy, I'm at the Free Love Festival. Who I got in this situation with me? You got Wiz, AK, Mrs. Serge, Fridge. You got my man Jay next to me right here. Jay King, feel me? <laughs> I heard that. What bring y'all to the Free Love Festival today, man? We about to show out, bro. We got, um, what I got? I got, first I'm going to perform On My Mind. That one out on all, all labels and on YouTube. Then I'm going to go to, I'm performing... I'm a one. I got two with him. I'm going back and forth with the singles and stuff. We are going to perform Home Sweet Home, and then I'm gonna go to Teller Teller, and then I got one more with him. How long y'all been rocking together? Uh, we've been rocking together for like two months. You feel me? Just met at a little event and turned up from there. That's dope. That's dope. What made y'all decide that the, the synergy was there? How did y'all figure that out? That y'all wanted to do that? But the crowd, bro. The crowd. You got like. You gotta understand. It's kids that's going to mess with you just because, like, I know we got the ball, like, kids got the ball right now, like, right. and once you got the kids, you got the grown-ups. Right. But at the same time, these kids, once they put a smile on their face, it's up from there. All their parents want to see is a smile on their face, and that's why I love these kids. Once you got the kids, you got the grown-ups. It's the crowd for me. So y'all able to bring that together when y'all do y'all thing together. That's what happens. Yeah. It was like, you feel me, not everybody think that same way. Some people, they look at the music as a money thing. But us, we looked at it as a way to influence the public type shit. And us having that same type uh, mindset, it was like, it brought us together on some shit. We're like, yo, let's make something for him. You mean, turn the crowd up. No, that's dope. I, I actually love that. You know what I mean? That sounds genuine. It sounds like it can work because you're doing it from the right place. But how do people um keep up with y'all, what y'all got out there, what y'all got coming up? Uh, It's just now getting to me. You got to stay consistent. Once they see you being consistent, they're going to stay with you. That's like posting something on IG, on Instagram story for one day. You post it the next day, they're going to go through your timeline. Once they keep seeing you, they're going to love seeing you. Because it's like, you can't get rid of me. So where y'all at on social media? How they follow you? Uh, my Instagram is d1.wiz, my fault. And then my TikTok is d1.wiz. Why? I think. Or if it's not, it's two Z's. Either one. <laughs> Yo, uh, my Instagram, that's JVYKXNG. Same thing for the TikTok. So what's the twist? What are we going to get? Is it going up when y'all get up there or what? Always up when we... First of all... <laughs> no, we ain't... No, bro. We, we, we make sure we got everybody out there sitting... Like, I promise you... Y'all... Y'all going to be up there when we perform. And if y'all not... If y'all... Y'all gonna hear me in the background, y'all gonna see them looking, y'all gonna be like, who they looking at? They looking at us. Uh -huh. We gonna have the crowd, like we always gonna have the crowd. Even if you don't feel like getting up, we one of those people that's gonna make you wanna get up. Like, we just got that type talent. Yes, I'm I'm real, like, that's just my energy. Like, I come up, for sure, I'm gonna always talk heavy, but like, yeah, like, we make sure we got a crowd, like, we make sure. But yeah, we got, like, love songs, we got love songs for the girls, we got party music for the kids. And grown-ups, they love dancing. I just seen a couple of them, they gonna be dancing, they gonna be dancing, everybody gonna be off their seat. That's all I'm saying. The funniest shit, and um, salute to y'all energy, because I love that. You know what I mean? I love the confidence. I love that y'all intentional about what y'all trying to bring to the people. And y'all know what y'all capable of. But I feel like y'all been scoping the room. Or some grown man shit. And that's funny. But I look forward to seeing y'all rock, man. For real. For sure. Whenever y'all walk in the room, make sure y'all peep the scene before anything. I want to see down head to your shoes all the way up to your head. Whenever you walk in the room, whenever you walk in anything you're going to and you don't know where you at, or anything you're going to in general, peep the scene before you take your second step in the door. That's all I'm saying. No, that's G shit, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Good luck. Kill shit tonight, man. My guy, you ready? All right. Simmer with Sammy, I'm at the Free Love Festival. Who is the lovely lady that I have with me? What's your name? Anila. Anaya? Anila. Anila. Pleasure to meet you, Anila. How old are you? Five. Five? Who brought you to the Free Love Festival today? Who brought you? Mommy. What's your mommy's name? Tiana. Tiana? Tiana. 
Gianna. Gianna? Say hi, mommy. So, do you sing? Um, not much. Do you dance? Yes. What do you dance to? Every song. Every song? What's your favorite song to dance to? Shake that. Shake that? So if they play, if they play shake that later, you gonna show us how you shake that? Do you have an Instagram and a TikTok? No, I don't have TikTok anymore. I used to have TikTok. They kicked you off TikTok? You was too good, right? <laughs> What's your favorite color? Pink and purple and gold. Pink. Girl, pink, purple, gold, and blue? So if somebody got you a birthday cake tomorrow, what color would it be? Pink, purple, and gold, and blue. <laughs> well, thank you for spending time with me. You have been awesome. You keep being awesome and stay in school. All right. Thank you. This is Sipping with Sammy. I'm at the Free Love Festival. And who do I have with me today? What's your name? Malaya. How old are you, Malaya? Seven. Who brought you to the Free Love Festival today? Um, my grandma. What's your grandma's name? Um. You, grandma? I, I just call her my mom. That's fine. That's fine that she's my mom. Shout out to grandma for bringing you. Are you enjoying yourself today? Yes. Yes? So, if someone was to say to you, perhaps, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue? What kind of blue? Um, like sky blue. Oh, you like the bright blue. Yeah? So when's your birthday? February 25th. What's your sign? Huh? What's your sign? What does that mean? That means something that you'll learn soon. Ask your mom. <laughs> but it's okay. Don't worry about it. What do you do for fun? Um... Nothing really. Just, just, just go, just, just, just go to the football field with my dad. He's a coach. Your dad's a football coach. What team does he coach? Um, I forgot what team it's called. He's right over there. <laughs> well, shout out to dad. So you hang with dad a lot. Huh? You hang out with dad a lot, and you like that. Decent, decent, decent. Do you have an Instagram or a TikTok? But but I used to have TikTok. I I have my own TikTok channel. Oh, did you? When I I um um. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have it anymore. You gonna get a new one? No, I I still do. But I don't know what it's called. Okay. I have no idea. Well, tell the people what your name is again and how old you are. Malaya, and I'm seven. Thank you. I appreciate you. Good talking to you. You're welcome. Sipping with Sammy. I'm at the Free Love Concert, the Free Love Festival, and I have two young ladies with me. Introduce yourselves to my people, please. My name is Allure. My name is Skylar. What's she say? She said my name is Skylar. And how old are you guys? I'm eight. I'm eight. <laughs> She's three. Hello. Oh, wonderful. You a big three. So who brought you guys to the festival today? My sister's dad. Oh, well, shout out to your sister. Salute to her. Are you guys enjoying yourself today? Yes. What do you like about today? What have you enjoyed so far? Um, coming here with my um, sister and having fun with her and dancing with her. So you got to dance today. And you plan on dancing some more? Yeah. Did you guys eat? Yeah. What did you have? We had beef hot dogs. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. You, what do you want to say? I eat hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I think she said I like hot dogs. Yeah, I, I thought that's what she said too. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. So what? So what makes you the best big sister in the world? That I care for my sister and I help my mom. That is at work current, currently. That is at work right now with my little sister. But sometimes my sister is bad. Awesome. I just want you guys to keep being as great as you could be. And I thank you for your time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You guys are awesome. Sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right. Please get your fucking life together. It'll be 2023 already and you wouldn't have a shot yet. 
But I have somebody very special with me. Please tell the people who's in a situation with it. Sarita Lewis, how y'all doing, fam? It's good to be here. If you know anything about my platforms, then you know that Sarita is not new to this. She's true to this, and she knows exactly what we do with this. But it's great seeing you. How you feeling? I'm good. I just came by to support my brother Emil. This is an event that FIRE does. I think this is their fourth year doing the free festival. And um, we were supposed to do a scavenger hunt today, but, you know, we want to do it next time. We're going to do it this time. Queen of the scavenger hunts. But as somebody that's affiliated with the Free Love Festival and that understands the purpose, what do you gain from coming out here and getting the energy? And what have you seen out of this festival? This festival is really an opportunity for our youth to be able to express themselves, to be able to, like, they all perform, and, like, they dope. Like, I'm just sitting here, like, amazed by the magic that they are doing up on the stage. And, like, everybody's just really peaceful and everything. But what I love about this organization is that they never just do a thing with one intention, which is, oh, let's give the kids a platform. Like, these kids actually also are being taught how to engage on the back end, doing the business stuff. So everything is a lesson for them. But they are going to be better performers and entrepreneurs because of it. You are so good with your words. You don't waste a word. <laughs> that was worded perfectly. And it's funny because as somebody that knows you, and I know your legacy, and I know that you have a, a, a young person out here that is doing great things too, because you are the queen that you are, because you instilled that understanding into her. So give a little bit of light on what's going on as your new legacy, the part that you didn't have so much control over that wound up being a reflection of you. Thanks. What's going on out here? So my daughter, Milana, she is, um, she's the cooties on, um, on Instagram, but she, is like real heavy in the sneaker game. She moved, she was with, she was with Ubik until they became Atmos. And she was their first women's clothing designer ever. They never had one before. And so she was the one that was designing their first line of clothing for women. She got to go to Fashion Week in Paris and bring back some really cool stuff for the folks here in Philly. And then she got a position in Portland. So now she's, she's, she, she's out there. She's doing big, big things with, you know, I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the names here, but, you know, she's... She. I mean, they them, they them names. She said Portland. When you say Portland, if you know anything about sneaker culture, we know what you talk about. Yeah, so she in Portland. doing <laughs> She's doing the thing in Portland, and she also has a company called Vanglory. She started with her best friend that used to work at Ubik with her, and they make these amazing, like, pocket boxes, which is, like, a customized bag, little pocketbook that looks like a box. But then they expand it, and they do collaborations with, like, so many dope places. They've done, uh, they did a collaboration with Atmos before it, was, before it was part of their company. They were one of the 12 Days of Greatness with Foot Locker. They, um, they actually did a couple of collabs with, with, um, with the Jordan brand. So, like, they've been doing some heavy stuff out here. And so y'all should check them out. Vanquory.shop. Now, the way that your face lights up when you talk about what she does is amazing. And salute to her because that queen is killing it. But you done that. You did that. You made that. That's your baby. You know how we fight our moms all the time. And I ain't your baby. That's your baby. You done that. And what you instilled in her made something that legacy is something that we can only... We all drew with our notebooks and wanted to design a sneaker or something. But you just referenced the bag that actually is a collector's item. It's a piece. It's something that goes up online every month. And they bring out new heat every month. They do a lot of pop-up shops when they're in Portland. They do pop-up shops. And, you know, the, the culture in um, Portland is... N is very tight for black folks because there's not a lot of people of color. So when I went to visit her in February, I got to see how really snug it is to be black in Portland. You see what she's working with. Yeah. It's, it's but you hot. built her for that. She built for that. She is built for that. And she moves in that world really, really well. And she has connected with some amazing people because I don't know where she got it from, but she could talk her, She could talk to a blank wall and I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, what I need y'all to do is 
keep up with my sister right here, <laughs> Sarita. <laughs> Definitely tap in with her daughter. She's an amazing personality, amazing soul, amazing energy. We all know that it takes something to make something, and clearly she's been doing something to get where she is. So salute to both of you. But how do people keep in contact with you and your scavenger hunts? Because you one of them, too. Yo, so we're actually designing a really important scavenger hunt for West Philly. So um, what I do is I create, it's not a scavenger hunt, it's an urban seek, it's an action. It's like a join, right? Like it is its own thing. And so what we're doing is we're going to be pulling in the history of West Philly and some of the really dope stuff that's happened here. Because people, that, our youth are acting like they don't know what a good time it is to be them, you know, and they do not believe that it's a fun thing and their lives are painful. And I want to give them some hope. I want to show them that there's something of value that they are already existing in. So we're developing some really dope stuff for them to come out, participate in, be a part of, and then end with a party. What's the social media for that, or the website? So actually, just hit me up on Miss Sarita, M-S underscore S-E-R-I-T-A. My Instagram for my business is Urban Seek, U-R-B-N-S-E-E-K. But either one, it gets to me. So, you know. <laughs> Oh, man, always love, always appreciate your time. Once again, salute to you and yours. <laughs> Simple with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rugen. I'm at the Free Love Festival. And y'all know who this guy is, man. CEO rolling this motherfucker, man. Tell the people what's good. Hey, man, everything's good, man. It's your boy, CEO Ro. I'm in the building. Make sure you check me out at the CEO Ro Experience every Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. You might catch me on Fly Day uh, from 4 to 6 with the Fly Boys. You dig what I'm saying? And don't forget, the last Saturday of every month, Poets and Laughter. This August, this Saturday, August 27th, will be the next one. Make sure you tune in and cop a ticket. Come out and catch a vibe, man. No, nah, real rap. Um, This is my brother. This is somebody that you go deeper than rap with, as they say. You know what I'm saying? It's somebody that I'm also seeing moving and shaking in this situation. But is this your first Free Love Festival? Yes, brother. This is actually my first Free Love Festival. Um, I am digging the venue. Well, you know, the whole setup and all that is real dope. Um, this is the first time being here, so I, I like it. This is something I would probably have my event at, you know, if everything aligns. Before it gets too cold. Pardon me. Before it gets too cold. But this is dope. I'm, I'm looking forward to the artists. I got here on time. Nah, it's one of them joints. Like I've been a no, but I've been a part of this since um I think basically inception, and a lot of the artists that's affiliated with the um the people that organize it, them all my folk. We still at the Free Love Festival, man, and right now they performing in front of us, and you see what the energy is. They bringing the youngins out, man. I just interviewed I just interviewed a few young people, a couple young ladies, and got some good energy from them. That's something that's refreshing at these type of events. We don't get that all the time. No, no, not at all. And just this type of vibe, I, I like to see the youngins having fun again. They're having fun with this right here. This this whole hip movement or whatever they doing, they're having fun with it. We, we fuck all that drill shit, man. Real rap. You heard it first here. Fuck all that drill shit, man. If you talking ops and that's your energy, that's the wrong energy. You feel me? And that's not what we're on. We trying to change the narrative. We love each other. We try and grow out here. No, that part. And that's why I never mind sharing a microphone with CEO Ro, because Ro never misses the mark. He understands the purpose of the situation. But I'm glad that you were able to experience this, because this is another aspect of what I've been a part of, you know what I mean, this whole time, that I feel like it's something that you could appreciate. No doubt. I definitely appreciate it. Like I said, the setup, the whole venue, and, and the vibes. The vibe is cool, too, man. I like the vibe. The vibe is cool. So, you know, definitely shout out to the, the Love Fest, man. Shouts out to the Love Fest, man. Social media and all that. Social media. Hey, man, you can find me at official underscore CEO dot RO. You can also find me at CEO Ro Experience on IG. And make sure you go to YouTube and subscribe, like, and comment to the CEO Ro Experience. The CE Ro CEO Ro Experience. Flash it only, please and thank you. Sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right, please get your fucking life together. It'll be 2023 already and you ain't had a shot yet. Who I got in the building with me at the Free Love Festival? What's up, it's boy Ken Rock, Life Coach Rock. I am Coach Rock at um, IG. You know, that's me. Go ahead. Now, 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 Ken Rock. There was a lot of dust kicked up before you got over here. They said the guy is in the building. Why are you the guy, Ken Rock? 
I mean, um, well, first of all, first of all, who I am, I'm a person. I just came home from federal prison. I just served 16, um, 16 years in federal prison. I got locked up in 2006 um, for 61 kilograms, kilograms of cocaine. $176,000 of cash. I went to trial. I got found guilty. I got 20 years. I'm out here now trying to do positive things. You know what I mean? Uh, I got my life coaching certification, putting together things for inner city youth. And, you know, so that story within itself may make, you know, some people feel like that. But, you know, that's just who I was at 24 years old. I'm 40 years old now. I'm a father. I'm a husband. Just trying, hey, trying to do the right thing. But that's respectable. You see what I'm saying? Because you went through what you went through. You ran your race, and now you're here on the other side of it. And what you say? I'm a husband, I'm a father, and I'm and I'm out here, and that's what's beautiful. So that's enough. That should be enough. You know what I mean? It, it don't have to be about pyramids and castles. You know what I'm saying? We have to be men and stand on what we stand on, went through what we went through, and be able to pass something more to the future. So that's what it is. That's why they give you that energy. So I want to salute you for being the man that you've been. Appreciate it, you know. Appreciate it. You feel no, what I'm saying? No, we gotta keep it real with each other. Yeah. And that's what we don't do. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I feel like um it's so much pressure on to be something that we not that you know you gotta be comfortable being who you are. And that's that's my whole goal, that's my whole message. Be who you are, but first and foremost you gotta learn who you are. Right. And it ain't easy to do out this genre right now. So yeah. now that you on the outside and you running your race for the um greater good. What are you what are you adding to the situation? What 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 can people get from you nowadays? Well, you know, um basically my experience, my teaching, my skill, you know what I mean? I got certified as a life coach. Mm -hmm. Right now I've been home, I ain't been home six months yet. You feel what I'm saying? So um everything I'm doing now is learning how to readapt to society, learning how to, you know, go through the ins and outs of what's going on out here now and keep my positive vibe. What you gonna get from me is who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm a positive person, I'm a good person, I'ma always give you what you what's, what's supposed to get. I ain't gonna shortchange you never did. So that's who I am. I feel like the energy a little different out here. I ain't tapping to it yet intentionally. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You're gonna get guidance and understanding from me. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. And if there's anything that I can do to be a service and to help with what you're trying to figure out, I'm out here. I'm gonna get a mic to roll real quick. See you, Ro. Yeah, we got we got a little history. Shouts out to Coach Kim Rock, man. Um, you got a book out, brother. Yeah, well, yeah, tell them a little about the a little bit about the book. Well, this the whole twist with the book. The book was um You Can Still Be Dad. It was a coaching book for black incarcerated fathers. I had it, I did it while I was in prison, but I actually snatched it off Amazon because I had actually wrote the book on the phone in prison, the whole book. So it was a lot of typos and stuff in the book. So I took the book back off. I'm I, um, actually relaunching the book, hopefully, inshallah, within the next three months. So I'm going to do it over. And it was a lot of energy in there that I didn't want to spread. It was a lot of anger, things inside of me that I had while I was in prison that I didn't even want to tap into while I was out here. So I took, I wanted to reframe it. And, you know, so three months, I'm back on it with it. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt, man. Um, I just wanted to touch on that. I think that's really dope. Um, and I see the growth. And 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 I and I applaud that because at the end of the day we have to come out here and change the narrative because the narrative is shot. It is not like it was when you left, and I know you know that. And the thing is, you know, we have to as men step up and be willing to die for that cause, for the cause of right. You dig what I'm saying? And and that's what we're doing. And I see that you're doing that. So anything that we can do or I can do um, to help push that narrative, you know, I'm there for you. You dig what I'm saying? Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it back to my man Sammy and let him, you know, finish the interview off, man. It's a pleasure. No, I actually think that was perfect. Let the people know how to keep in contact with you, how to support you, and so forth and so on. Because now that you motivationally speak, you certified. Yeah. Let's. How can we blow that up? All right, my join on IG is I A M underscore Coach R O C. I A M underscore Coach R O C. That's what. Check it out. I got vlogs on there. You know, I do my motivational thing on there. Um, I put together things. I'm out here right now with Young Bob, Buddha. We out here trying to make things happen. So that's the game, man. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's doing what's right and doing what's real. So that's it. Doing what's right and doing what's real. Appreciate you. Caledonia is a premier marijuana brand um, that started in Philadelphia, but it's um, groomed, grown, and honed in California. Um, we love California. <laughs> um, shout out to Sipping with Sammy. This is gonna be a bomb ass fucking interview. We're gonna fuck up. <laughs> <laughs>
You know what I'm saying? That part. And we ain't even starting yet. We be right back. <laughs> sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right, please get your fucking life together. It'll be 2023 already and you weren't at a shot yet. And I'm still at the Free Love Festival, man. And I got the legend. The legendary Vasquez. Oskino, how you big bro? I'm chilling, man, one day at a time, man. That's all, you know what I mean? As always, I'm hustling. I mean, life is a hustle, so I'm hustling forever. You, know? you one of the smoothest talkers, one of the slickest talkers, one of the flyers that the city seen, but you move how Philly move. But one thing for sure, two things for certain, bro, I seen you go from a rap icon to most to um Basquiat. Yo, I didn't even know I could paint. I just started painting. I didn't know. What do you mean you didn't know you could paint? I never tried it before. Never tried it in my life. And I just tried it three years ago. So you picked up a paintbrush and painted Biggie? Yep. Some, some nigga said, yo, I'll give you a stack if you could paint Colin Kaepernick. I said, I'll try for a stack. And that shit came out cool and I just been hooked every since. Yo, <laughs> what, niggas want to talk about drug dealing? That's hustling. Like a motherfucker that just takes the challenge. And somebody that believes enough in their creativity and somebody that's creative enough to do. Because just because you're willing to take it on don't mean that you could do it. But I'm talking about like you at another level now, bro. And I know you had a lot of conversations about rap music. But as a brother that went through your transitions with the hip hop and was able to, it seems like you find solace in the paintbrush. I did, because you know, once I lost my son, I was losing myself for real. I mean, and then and art helped me keep my sanity. You know what I mean, but tonight, like, I'm really here because of my, my, my bro, Big Buzzard over there, right? You know what I mean, he had his shit, and people don't really know him in the city like they should know him. So I'm just here, basically, like, facilitating using my my name, my platform for them to know my bro. You know what I mean, because because he, he a good dude, plus he had his shit. You know what I mean, so he don't advertise the eight I had there. We got a lot of songs together, so I want niggas to know who he is. That's you know what I mean, Ali Upin, and that's all. You know what I mean, just like I said, oh, always slick with the transition. He right on it. Introduce him to the people, and I'm gonna get a mic to him. This is my man, Big Buzzer, right here, man. You know what I mean? Uptown Finest, you know what I mean? He hot as shit. And, and listen, I ain't doing this because I ain't just, this is my man, but he hot as shit. Mm -hmm. So, like, he deserved the niggas to know he hot as shit. And he gonna prove to them they say, but he don't, hey, hey, we got like four songs together Angel Cry, Doctor with me, him and Gil. Right. You know what I mean? So, y'all gotta check him out. This is a I'll leave it for him. Set him up. Big Buzzer. That's what we doing. Big Buzzer, what's good? Absolutely. What's up, man? How y'all, man? How y'all? I'm good. It's a pleasure to have you on my platform, man. Listen, the pleasure to be here, too. You hear me? That's what it is, man. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, right? I wouldn't have been here if I ain't get the Ali Hoop from my guy, Guy You. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now, mm. listen, shout out to Sorry. Guy You, too. You hear me? Solid homie. Solid, solid fella. Absolutely. Now, also, you wouldn't be here if you wasn't supposed to be here. Oh, absolutely. 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 I'm, I'm down with the music, man. I'm down with, you know what I mean, doing the free stuff for the free festivals. My man going over out to Africa after this. You see what I'm saying? So you know I'm down with it, man. So what's your what's your affiliation to this thing that we call creativity and hip hop? Like where do you what what's your angle and what do you provide for the people? So just that don't know. Okay, so what I what I'm providing right now, I'm providing this foster baby movement. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a foster baby, so you know what I'm saying? So I'm speaking up for my foster baby. You know, Oskino's a foster baby, you know what I'm saying? You already know that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just letting my people know that's foster babies that they can make it out, you know what I mean? We can make it out. We ain't, don't 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 count yourself out, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't about that. We definitely can make it out, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm coming out with that, I'm coming out with the link up with my guy over here. We got vicious, bad guy, you know what I'm saying? That's my guy too, you know what I'm saying? So we coming out with that. He from uptown, he one of the uptown hot boys too, you feel me? So you know, we just we just we just we love music, man. I love music, you know what I'm saying? Everybody hang with love music. We here to represent that. Boy, I look forward to what you bring into the situation tonight. The energy is real. Motherfuckers pulled me to the side and said, yo, such and such, about two, three, four minutes, we going and I'm glad that we was able to do this. But you we gotta show that uptown love. We gotta swing it. My guy. The bad guy. Oh my god. People, you already know, Sam. You always show me love when I come through. Shout out to Oskino. Buzzer, that's my guy. We putting the mixtape, the link up together right now. We got like 11 tracks on there. Shit crazy. We fucking them over. Like, and the energy that we about to give niggas is that, you know, everybody ain't with the mumble rap. You see what I'm saying? It's some people that's still keeping it authentic on the record. Yeah, I mean, once me and Buzzer linked up, we both took a liking into each other from the from the door. I met O 
first thing Ode told me was, did I ever hear about Buzzer? And I didn't even hear about Buzzer that, that I mean, meet Buzzer at that time. I told Buzzer I heard about him, but I never met him. So it was crazy. We ran into each other down Bat Cave. We put the record together. Yeah, I mean, we said, fuck it. We gonna put the whole mixtape out. Yeah, man. Since then, you know, me, Buzzer, Rug down that Bat Cave. We've been nulling them shit shut. So you know, y'all, y'all look forward to that. The link up in about a month. You already know. We all in. My God, bad guy always know what to say, man. He know how I roll, but on some real shit. OG, you a legend. I've been seeing. I know what you add. I know the energy that you've been giving the city, ups, downs, and in betweens. And I know that you never held none of that from us. Speaking of you, bro, pleasure to meet you. The fact that you was bought in between these. I'm good. I'm super good. Like, I don't need no more. I just want to see what happened. You know what I'm saying? But please do. I just want to say, like, a person, is, no matter what your situation is, don't look down on your brother. Absolutely. Don't think you're bigger than him or he's smaller than you. Y'all got help each other because you never know. You might fall off. He might pull you back up later on in life. I mean, but everybody like using as a competition when there's enough money for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's in all aspects of life. Opportunity. Yeah, even if y'all both paint, even if y'all both rap, y'all both sing, if you, unless you got a barbershop across the street from me, then it's, yeah, we cool. You know what I mean? Other than that, we straight. So it shouldn't be no competition. You just love your brother because we killing each other at an all time crazy high. You know what I mean? And I, I'm talking about, I got a son doing 20 to 40 and I lost a son. I mean, so like, I know how it feel like from a parent's point of view. I, mean, I was in the streets myself, like doing crazy stuff. So I got to see all the aspects of it, and I know how the city hurting. All these murders is families hurting. I mean, so we gotta like some type of love to each other, man, or it's gonna be over for everybody. I mean, you ain't saying nothing wrong, OG, and that's what it is. And at the end of the day, the more we could do this, the more we could fight against that. Because we could teach people how to love each other, how to support each other, and how you ain't gotta be from my block, we ain't gotta even be from the same understanding. If we can meet here, we can get that there, we can get this here. You know what I mean? But um, I just wanna say, man, the energy that has been provided from this gentleman since I've known him, and from you before I've known you, and now meeting you, this is what it's about. This is a synergy of things. This is a process of my life, my building. And we could be great together, man. We just got to make sure that we make sure that when you have, and when we have, and when I have, we point it that way. You see what I'm saying? Because what we what we capable of, we don't know until we get there. We don't know until we get there. We don't want to throw it out the window for a moment. 30 seconds of ruin, 30 years of your fucking life. Yes, it will. Yes, it will, man. So, man, never love, man. Can I get everybody social media and all that? Uskino Vasquez one, y'all already know. Just put that in. That might be following me already. I got like 200 some thousand hey, followers already. already. So like. <laughs> exactly. You already know blood money underscore fish. Get with me anytime. And I got the bad guy clothing. You are. And he got buckets now. I ain't even know we had buckets. Yeah, um, 215 Big Buzzer, you know, holla at me on the gram. You know, I'm representing Buzzer Team, Foster Baby. You know, I already know how we doing this, man. That's what it is, man. Flash it, please and thank you. Free Love Fest, sipping with Sammy. That's what we doing, man. Sipping with Sammy, Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right, please get your fucking life together. It'll be 2023 already and you weren't at a shot yet. We still at the Free Love Festival. Bookworm just got off the stage, and I got a whole lot of Uptown love in the situation with me, man. Tell the people who I got with me. Uptown Easy, 74th and Andrews to be exact. What's going on? Y'all already know. Prebu Cognac, uh, dope citizen. You already know, man. We That's how you know Uptown riding it ain't hot. And he said the block and everything. I also got Uptown Wiz, finest, dog. 77th. You already know. Now, a.k.a. Fleetwood. What's happening from Jersey? Jersey, yeah. Shout out to Jersey, man. What's going on with you brothers, man? We brought y'all to the Free Love Festival tonight, man. And I'm going to start with Jersey, of course. You know, OG told me come through, you know, check some things out, catch a vibe, you know. So I came out. How was the vibe? Vibe was great. Vibe was great. Dope, dope, dope. Appreciate that. Wiz, man. Wiz, man. This ain't your first rodeo. I had to do the kids, like they was, they, oh man, the young buck was killing it. it you got see, crazy. The, I, yeah, I had to give her half a minute. I was like, yo, she dope. Cut a check? You cut a check? Yeah, I had to. Kids, man, some kids, man, they was dancing, positive vibe, man, no nonsense. Like, this is definitely a vibe, man. Y'all gotta come here next year, man. Like, it's a vibe, bro. It's one of those things, and I'm gonna say this to all of y'all, it's one of those things where it's like, 
if we all had a space to be able to do this, like this feels more like, you know how like you go to Jamaica and you like, this feels more like normal. Or you go to like, you know what I mean? Maybe some places in Cali where you get to like breathe and nobody's over you. Like, I feel like this is one of those things where even an artist is like, the benefit doesn't come from this, it comes from this. So how you feel about that? I love it. Um, I think you are an artist. You get busy too. Yeah, man. I um, I haven't performed in a while, but I like these are the type of spaces that Philly need. Though we need more open spaces like this, bro. This is amazing right here. But the vibe here is top notch. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, what we know about what's possible is is is, is exhibited right here. It's exhibited right here. I mean, look at this, man. This is black power. This is genuine things. And we are people that are blessed to add on to the situation. We're not the guys that have to deal with the stress of building the situation. And we know what stress takes to build situations. So to be a thing that's like, every time you come here, you get this energy. You get this many motherfuckers that can still be alphas on their own time, but well in the chill a little bit to, to support each other i just i just want people to really understand that because i'm talking to adults now i just talked to a few children you know what i'm saying but i'm talking to adults now like we in a situation where tonight things is going on and the mc said i'm gonna have kravitz co-host with me because kravitz here i was shocked I was like, oh, I said, Kevin's on stage. Like, Hold on, what's going on? Because we control the situation. The dope around, you know what I'm saying? When you know somebody dope, sometimes it's best to give them their flowers and say, come on, let's share this stage together. Let's, if, if somebody here for you and somebody here for me, now they here for the same reason. You feel me? They here for us, you feel me? No, but that's ill, and that's something that I always appreciate about a lot of the environments that me and you are able to be in together. But everybody's not always able to be there. But to share this environment with y'all and know that my people are a part of this, I just don't want to be the only guy bragging and patting them on their back. I want real soldiers to be like, no, this is different. If y'all believe the same way that I do. It's not a forced thing, you know what I mean? But I want everybody to know how to keep up with each and every one of you gentlemen and what y'all got going on, please. Because y'all affect way more of the culture than just your face. So please make sure that my audience knows who what y'all do. Uh, I got one. with Roly. I'm a manager of Mellow the Goat, manager of Raw Refresh. Got some artists, you know, a couple things going on, a couple movements, you know, putting things together. With Black Kings, making moves, you know how it is. That's what it is. Um, man, I'm a manager for Bookworm. Got it. Um, you know, uh, Tuesday we going Shade 4 5. You know, dope, yeah, dope stuff, man. We we got uh, a project out and uh, we just working. Videos coming, we, man. We working, man. I got the cheat code with Wiz and Bookworm. I know a little more than the average bear knows about what they got going on. I'm excited. And if you know Wiz, when Wiz starts downplaying, that means he got one. Like, 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 like. You know how I go. When you try to like, when you gotta draw the attention to something, you want ten all the time. When you know you got it, you like wait till the fourteenth. Yeah. It's going up. But my bad, your turn. Nah, real shit, man. It's uh, uptown easy, man. Um, shout outs to my man Dapper. Uh, we about to go on the road with Westside Boogie in September. Um, make sure y'all stream that new single featuring Benny the Butcher, Selfies in the Rave. Um. And just make sure y'all support everything we got going on. You know what I'm saying? Pray for Cognac. We just got, we got a lot of shit going on. Young with options, dope citizen. Um, like it's just a movement, man. We just trying to empower young people to uh, to reach for the highest potential that they can possibly reach for and like capture it, not like just dream about it. You know what I'm saying? Like go get it. You feel me? Because it's out here every single day. Somebody else is gonna go get it. So if you work work your ass off. It's out here for you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm drunk enough to tell y'all, I'm from Uptown. I done been in spots where I seen Easy with some stages that we may or may not want to talk about. And I done been in living rooms with this nigga that me may, may not want to talk about. This is real life. We really out here. We amongst the people. 
We're not hiding from nothing. We try to create opportunities. But you're going to cross the people that's working all the time. As uptown heavy as we are up here, still Jersey here, still South Philly here, still the county here. Always please believe. No, but he been uptown since I, you know, he, he one of ours. He one of ours. But just realize when we when we when we rep our set, it's not that territorial no more. It's not that territorial no more. We are grown. Thanks, and we kings, and we all listen. It's Philly, and we all kings, and we want to empower everybody else to be kings. You feel me? Because as long as we all sitting amongst each other, and we all kings amongst each other, then we can spread that shit around. You feel me? Everybody don't gotta be trying to hold everything tight. Everything can get spread around. You know what I'm saying? And that's why if you watch my platform, when brothers is like, oh no, it's it, it's enough for y'all. No, sit up here with us, even if you ain't saying nothing. They got to see this. They got to see this. Thank you, brothers. I appreciate y'all. Sitting with Sammy, and I'm at the Free Love Festival. And who I got in this situation with me? The Poet Son. The Poet Son. Now, the Poet Son pulled up on me, and he had his green tea bottle, and he said, I'm sipping too. What's in that? Man, I'm sipping on my green tea with ginger, a little honey. I can't get a whole recipe away, you know what I mean? But something for the vocals. Joe, that's specifically for you or that's something that you might provide for the public? <laughs> this is something I could provide for the public, given if there is enough demand. So let me know. That part. So um, how are you affiliated with the Free Love Festival and what do you garner from being here? Man, I met Emil through my brother Chris Cotton back in like 20. Rest in peace, Chris Cotton, my guy. Rest in peace, man. He's still with us, though. His spirit's still with us. Always. Always. I feel the energy. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. So, yeah, that, that connection was like five years ago. The first thing yeah. I noticed is like, it's so much. Dope, dope, dope. So how do you feel since you've been a part of this? Like, what do you see in this that you don't see in the regular things that you do? Hmm. It's, what sets this apart? It's the energy. It's the people. This is right here in my hood. You know what I mean? Um, the live band is jamming, all the rappers are jamming, and it's a lot of different vibes. It's a lot of different vibes on the stage. You said this your hood, where you from? Man, I'm from, I'm from right around here on Westminster. Oh, you... Oh, no, 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 they gonna call me out, because I said, they're right, the right way, no. Right, it's Westminster, Min minister. <laughs> you, know, you know what I know. Literally, when he said that, I'm like, Westminster, yep, yep. Yeah, that's like saying I'm from North Philly. Like, no, nah, if you from North, you from North. You know. Well, we from one of the cities that can say that I'm going down north. Right. One of the only cities you say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or up west. <laughs> yeah. But how do they keep up with everything you got going on, man? Real shit. Man, you can follow me at The Poet Sun on IG. Um, I got a YouTube channel, uh, The Poet Sun Music. And, uh, yeah, just stay tuned. I got a lot of stuff coming soon. Dope, dope, dope. So you tapped in with my folks. You hear on the on, on, on strength of what's going on tonight. We at the end of the night. We nearing the end of the cliff. We about to run over, right? Yeah. All you want to drink is tea. That's for the night. That's all I'm sipping on, man. I got a I got a church to play for in the morning. <laughs> Fly shit only. Please and thank you. I appreciate you. Let the people know how to follow you. Yes, sir. On IG, at the Poet Son. You know where to find me. That's what we doing, man. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Always.